There you go. What's going on, everyone? Gaston with FK Arms, and today we're going to be talking about stepping up your live broadcast game. Right? Right now, live broadcasts have become very, very popular, and I'm sorry that I have to redo this, but I didn't realize that I wasn't sure what I was doing because I'm working with two cameras right now, which is good for you guys because I'm going to be showing you uh, different angles of what I'm doing. So let me go back to uh, YouTube, and I think, yes, there you go. There you go. We're live. There you go. So, um, Live broadcasts have become so, so popular these days. And uh, I've been talking to a lot of people, and, and people seem to have problems. A lot of people don't understand very well how to do live broadcast on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And fortunately or unfortunately, it has become one of the best ways to actually grow your audience, to actually communicate that you exist, you know, uh, put your art right there for the masses, for everyone to see around the world. Uh, people like to see things that move, people like to hear sound. and to do that right now, you only need this device right here, a phone. So most mobile devices right now, iPhone, Samsung, Galaxy, uh, Google phones, they're really good phones, they have really good camera, they also have somewhat good audio, and they can uh, broadcast and they can actually produce a really good quality image. Now, there are a lot of ways to step it up. and. The problem that I have with uh, with live broadcast with the phone when I started doing live broadcast last year was that you know the sound wasn't as good as I wish it was or sometimes I would be at a convention where it was very very noisy and I wanted to talk and I wanted uh, the sound to actually be understood and some of the other problems that some people have is that sometimes they don't have uh, zoom in this uh, phone so uh, they may they may put the phone too far and not capture things you know. Uh, properly or they may have to put the phone too close and then they actually cannot move the phone uh, further or uh, zoom out. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of the things that I, that I have right here. I have a lot of stuff right here and I'm going to be showing you uh, how the simple and most of them are very affordable gadgets can help you step up your live tattooing game and you know and killing social media um you know these days it's all about the social media and i'm sure you guys know that and that's why you're watching this video so let's see uh are we live yes we're live so the first thing that i want to share with you guys is this little guy right here this little guy right here is a bracket very simple bracket what it does is it allows you to connect your phone and fixture your phone while you're doing the live broadcast now if you don't have uh, something like this, you know, I see a lot of people trying to use, you know, a box or try, you know, trying to lean the phone over something. The phone always end up tipping over, and uh, and not always you can have, you know, the perfect leaning subject to put the phone. So having one of these things, you know, is very very convenient. The other reason why I like this one is because this one is spring loaded, so I can actually put the phone right here really quick and be done with it. So. Let's do it right now, like so. Very, very, very simple. Now, uh, doing, uh, you know, having this, it's not gonna solve the problem if you don't have a tripod or something like that, right? So, this is one of the first tripods I got when you know, when I started doing live broadcast. And this one right here, I think it costed me like I don't know, probably uh, fifteen dollars or something like that. Uh, the good thing about this one is that very compact, you know, if, so if you travel, you do guest spots and stuff like that, conventions, this one is going to be very, very handy because it also extends, it can become a little bit longer. So mount it on the table and there you have a tripod, very slim, very small and very stable. So the other thing you're going to do is just screw on the bracket with the phone or the bracket and then pop the phone and there you have, you can adjust them right here by this nut. And like that, you can you know start broadcasting your tattoos. Now, the problem with tripods is that you are gonna have to uh, either have a very big tripod, which I'm gonna show one right now. But um, if you want to travel light, or if you want to have something light around the studio, this one uh, may be good if you have a flat surface where you can lean the the tripod. Now, what happens if you don't have room to put your tripod like this? And I, obviously, I I do not recommend putting your tripod on the same table uh, where you are, are tattooing or you know you set up tray or anything like that. So how do we overcome that issue? Well, very simple. I'm gonna remove this right here. And I wanna show you the Gorilla Tripod or Joby or Joby. 
this guy right here. This guy right here comes in two different sizes. Uh, this one is the least uh, expensive of the two. There is a larger version, which is the one that I have right here, as you can see. And uh, the good thing about these guys right here is that, number one, they have a flexible head. So this head right here can actually rotate and you can actually pivot it like this. So what this is gonna allow you to do is, it's going to allow you to fix your bracket in your phone, where's the bracket? Where the, oh, right here. So it's gonna allow you to fix the bracket in your phone uh, in any type of pipe or protrusion that you may have around you. So for example, right now I have my, this is a lamp, we're gonna be talking about this uh, LED lamp. So let's say this is my lamp that's, you know, that's actually illuminating my tattooing, right? Uh, so I can use this to actually strap around this guy like this. And, you know, you can get really, really creative with this thing. And then what you're going to do is you're going to screw on the bracket. It's easier if you remove the phone. It is definitely easier if you remove the phone. So we're going to do it like that. There you go. Now the other thing is that you know this one have a quick release uh, mechanism, so it has another bracket right here that uh, you know you can you can work the bracket really nice. And once you're ready, you can actually adjust it right here with a coin or a screwdriver. And once you once you get it right, what you're gonna do is slide it in, and it clips on in there. And now then you're gonna you're gonna position your phone in the right. Uh, direction. Remember, Instagram only allows you to do it with a phone app, right? And uh, face, uh, Facebook and YouTube, you can do it like in both ways, horizontal or upright. So um, definitely, if you're going to be on on uh, Instagram, you're going to need something that's going to allow you to tilt the phone uh, 90 degrees, or you're going to have to have a bracket that opens really, really high. And those are hard to find these days. So this is the Joby uh, tripod, really, really nice and really convenient to have, uh, really convenient to have, especially if you travel, you do guest spots and stuff like that and you want people, uh, you know, you wanna showcase your, your tattooing life. So enough of the Joby, I'm gonna remove this bracket right here and let me just go live just to make sure that everything is good, yeah. There you go. Yeah, so people are commenting right here. This is uh, Angel Caban say, I agree, I love the live stream. It, it gives you a chance to interact with people. And yes, I mean, uh, obviously if you're gonna be tattooing, sometimes you're not, gonna ha you're not gonna have the time to answer all the questions, like for example right now, but at least you can see what people are saying. And it's really, you know, it's really good to, to actually engage with your audience. I think they believe you, they get to know you better, they see you working, they know who you are, and therefore that's gonna result into, you know, your name being exposed out there. So this is the Javi tripod. I'm gonna put it right here for now on the floor. This is the bigger version that I was telling you guys. This one is better for, you know, for a camera or DSLR or mirrorless camera. So we're gonna put this one on the side. now. What are some of, some of the other challenges uh, that we have when we do uh, live broadcast with a phone? We already talked about one, which was fixturing. The second challenge that I have sometimes is actually uh, the angle of view. So a lot of the times I may be at work and I may have the phone like this and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm too close or I'm too far. And you know, it is hard with a phone to actually find the right angle because sometimes you know you only have this little place to put the phone or this little place to put the phone and the tripod and you wanna adjust the angle. So how do we overcome that? Very, very simple. I'm gonna show you this little device right here that I have right now. And I have a mess right here because I'm gonna be talking about a lot of things. So let me clean up right here. We're gonna put the bracket right there. So this guy right here, I think, I believe I paid $24. And it's uh, this is by uh, a, a company called Apexel, okay? Apexel, you can find it in Amazon, check it out. Let me see. Focus, focus, focus. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Okay, it took some time, but it's called Apexel. Now, this is one of the best uh, wide-angle lenses 
that I found and I think that they are out there because number one is very compact number two it fits any phone of any kind there are some some of the wide angle lenses or fisheye lenses uh, or magnifying lenses uh, they, they are made for a specific phone so if you don't have that phone or if you upgrade your phone later on then the lens doesn't fit anymore so stay away from those and go with a clip-on version of this type of lenses and again uh, I would recommend you stick to this one because I've done my research and I bought over probably 10 of them different kinds to try them uh, the cheap 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 one can give you really cheap results and usually the quality is not that good uh, they are sharp in the center and then they're all straight uh, you know on the edges with chromatic aberration with which is when you know you start getting that weird effect on the on the lens and um, this one for $24 I believe I paid not bad and it's really really good I actually have one right here uh, one in my office one at work I have one of these everywhere because these are the ones that I used to do most of my live broadcast when I use the phone um, they are going to allow me to capture a lot and let me show right here if you guys can see the difference let's unblock this I'm just gonna use uh, just gonna use the camera so you can see so this there you go so this this is with the lens and this is without and you see the difference with the lens and without the lens so it actually pushes uh, pushes the subject further like two or three times further which is two times further probably and I found that this type of lenses is really really good when you're doing uh, tattoos because uh, most likely you want to see who's commenting or you want to interact with your viewers if they're asking you questions and if you have the phone way 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 too far then it's way way too far so probably you want a little bit of separation between uh, between the phone and the subject and you want to be able to capture as much as possible of your surrounding without going too far so this one right here the Epixel um, clip-on wide angle lens is really good and really affordable and I recommend you guys uh, get one of those or a couple of them because you're not gonna regret it so we talked about I'm actually gonna leave it out we talked about fixturing the phone we talked about uh, lenses now what is the other problem that some of us encounter we want to do a uh, live broadcast like I said right now I'm not doing a lot of live tattooing I think I did a live tattooing when I was in Argentina and that's the last one that I remember but um, I know that a lot of you guys are having issues with live tattooing especially when I see those live broadcasts that want to happen at tattoo conventions and you know you cannot hear anything uh, the sound is way too loud you know people talking and you get a lot of that uh, surrounding sound getting into your feed and you don't want that sometimes you want to talk want to say something so your um, the audience cannot hear what you're saying and that is a problem but if that is a problem that we can fix so there is uh, there is this little device right here this is called a ceremonic uh, smart mixer and this one is uh, is made for mo uh, mobile phones and the good thing about this one right here is that you can actually it also it comes with the two microphones I think this one is hundred and fifty dollars with the two microphones and the two mixers so this one I'm sorry one mixer so this one what is going to allow you to do is going to allow you to actually plug the uh, the microphone into your phone now if you don't have a phone with a mic input like the new iPhone 7 don't worry about it you can use the adapter that came with the iPhone and you apply it on the phone and then connect it to the cable and there you go what would you want to use this okay well let's say you are uh, you're tattooing someone very important and you wanna have a nice uh, live stream and you know you wanna milk the popularity of who you are tattooing you want to grow your audience and you want to talk interact or maybe uh, you want your customer or yourself talk to um, to your to your audience so with this one right here with the ceremonic uh, smart mixer what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to actually point one microphone towards you and then another microphone maybe towards someone that's in front of you it could be someone talking you know uh, or reading the messages for you and stuff like that so this way you can have a two-way mic directional 
uh, just pointing to where you want the microphone to focus. Now, with this type of microphones, you're going to reduce a lot of the ambient sound, you know, a lot of the surrounding sound, and your live broadcast is going to be a lot cleaner. The other advantage about this uh, mixer right here is that you can actually connect. Let me show you. Let me switch cameras right here. You can actually uh, connect a headphone right here, and you can, you know, if you want to do really, really professional, you can monitor the sound and just ensure that the sound that you are putting is not too loud or too low. So that's really good. And then if you have uh, dynamic microphones and stuff like that, or microphones, but this is just uh, overkill for, uh, you know, uh, for for mobile phone. Uh, so you can use this also on a camera. So this device right here for 150 bucks is really, really, really uh, uh, good to have. And again, this one right here is uh, has a, a, a quarter thread right here, so you can also mount it on a tripod. And this is what I'm gonna do right now. I'm gonna get this tripod right here that I have. So the good thing about this guys right here is that you can use the same tripod. You mount this guy right here. Right, you mount this guys right here, and then you can mount with this little nut that I have right here. I'm gonna post the link of this little thing right here. Uh, they cost like a dollar or so. With this little thing, now you have a um, a cold shoe mount right here. You can actually put this guy right here, and then you can put the bracket. So let me just Frankenstein this for you really, really quick. Again, this is for you if you want to do something really over the top and you know you want the live broadcast to be saved on Facebook and maybe later on you want to save it to the computer or something like that. Or or you know, you're in a situation where it's a lot of noise and you know you want to do things right. So, you know, it doesn't take much to set it up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set up your tripod like so, and then you're gonna put, where's the phone? And then you're gonna put the phone, like I explained before, and there you have it. Now you have, uh, I can actually tilt this, let me just, yeah, there you go. So I can now tilt a microphone for me, I can have uh, the camera facing, or the, or the back camera, that's the good advantage of uh, doing this. So you can choose which camera you wanna use, of course, if you're gonna uh, be uh, filming your tattoos, you probably wanna use the back cam, uh, the rear camera right here, where you can put this guy right here. So now you have uh, good quality video, good quality sound. You can monitor the video if you want, or your assistant can monitor the video and reach you the comments, and uh, you can have a very professional live broadcast. Now, the quality of this lens also makes the image better than the actual lens of the phone. So that's one of the reasons why I like to use um, the clip-on uh, wide-angle lens. So that's that. This is the Ceremonic uh, Smart Mixer. There is another microphone that I wanted to show you guys, and I couldn't find it. I have like two of them, but I don't know where they are. I think they're at work. It's the Rode uh, Video Micro. The Rode Video Micro. I'm gonna post the link about the Rode Video Micro. It's a tiny microphone that doesn't require any batteries. Um, it doesn't have, just a microphone. Uh, it doesn't have any batteries. Uh, it doesn't require any batteries, but you cannot monitor the, the levels. Uh, you cannot adjust the levels. And with this one right here, you could do that. It just uses a nine volt ba uh, battery. Remember that. But the Video Micro, uh, micro is a very, uh, uh, easy way to have good sound, directional sound, um, and I think it's fifty dollars. Yeah, that one is fifty dollars, and uh, uh, Rode makes amazing microphone. As a matter of fact, I'm actually using a Rode right here. This is my Rode uh, for for this type of live broadcast, and then I have another one right there, shotgun microphone. So this is it, guys. So this is uh, you know. A couple of simple ways to improve your quality of your videos. Now, let's move on and let's show you some options. Now that you guys understood or I got to explain what the main challenges were for me, and I know that there are for so many of the guys out there, let's show you know some other gadgets that are gonna help you take it even further. So we talk about this guy right here for sound, we talk about this for fixturing, and we talk about this lenses for uh, getting a better uh, quality. Now. This guy right here, let me show you. 
Um, this would be something that I would suggest you guys get. I think it costs five dollars. And the good thing about this one is that if you're gonna, um, you know, if you're gonna be doing live broadcast at the studio uh, pretty often, you can have this thing already fixed to uh, to a pole, to a lamp, to a chair, to something. So the way you the way you do that is you actually put it like that, and now you can mount again the uh, the bracket, and you can also swivel because it, it has a rotating head. You can swivel the angle of um, of the head and therefore you don't have the bulk of the Jobby uh, uh, Gorilla Pod. Um, so this one again really cheap six uh, six five bucks I recommend you guys get that and they also make this extension now you want to go fancier you can actually connect this little guy right here which is articulated and you can have kind of like a this thing you know uh, sticking a little bit more and this head rotates and and they articulate and and you know you can connect it in in place for the in, uh, in place of, uh, of this head you can actually connect the arm and uh, you know have this articulating thing and you can move it around adjust it you know to uh, to the position you know if you're doing an arm you may want to adjust it pointing down if you're doing a uh, you know a, a biceps or or a back you know you want to move the front around so having these things right here I think I pay for both of them when I got them on Amazon maybe 10 11 12 dollars something like that very very cheap and really really useful these uh, these guys right here are by a brand called newer newer makes a lot of uh, a lot of good photography products and uh, very very affordable so um, check them out I'm gonna list the link for both of them on the description below so let's put this on the side for now now one of the things that we need to talk about in order to get a clean video is lighting right um, as you see right now I have uh, a lot of light right here in the studio. I have uh, one pointing at me in in front, two pointing at me on the side, and I have one at the top. Now, lighting is very important because the sensor of the phone is gonna require light to see what you're doing. the 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 better the lighting condition, the better the image. But there is something in video that. Uh, a lot of light can actually ruin your video and you also have to know how to control that so how do you do that right well a lot of the time when we're tattooing you know at the studio we happen to have you know light in the studio but sometimes that light is not enough for a camera a phone to actually uh, capture the image the way we want it so what do we do well I am gonna show you right now one of the best things that you can buy uh, these days on Amazon. I mean, there are a lot of things similar to this one. Uh, this is, uh, what is the name of this thing? This is the Fovitech 600 LED uh, light panel. It's very thin. Check this out. It's very thin. When I bought it, it came with a tripod as well. So this tripod can be adjusted in any position. It swivel, it pivots, and it has tons and tons and tons of light. Right now, I don't have it plugged in, and I don't want to plug in because it's going to um, blind the lens but it has so much light and it comes with these filters right here that allow you to diffuse the light so uh, it comes with a clear filter and it comes with an amber filter uh, in, you know in the event that, that you want a warmer light so very nice uh, very useful I think this light is a hundred and something dollars with a tripod with it with an adapter power adapter and they can also take batteries uh, these are the Sony batteries. I don't remember the name of the batteries, but they can take those big Sony batteries right there. And, uh, you know, you can have hours of light without having to even worry about a cable. So very useful. They're also easy to transport if you want to travel with them because all you're going to do is just remove them from here, from the tripod. And the tripod also becomes really, uh, really small. See, this is the sign. You know, this, this can fit in a suitcase, no problem. And you're gonna get you're gonna get a lot of a lot a lot of light with this a lot of light you know so this is going to serve you uh, to illuminate even the shop and the tattoo and uh, they're really good now what happened if you want to get maybe some light that is a little bit better uh, for traveling uh, like I said that one you can travel with but then we have this one right here and this is another light I think they are they're not I think there are 120 LEDs in this one. Um, this one right here is also by Newer, same company. Let me show you right here so you can Google it. This is the model number, Newer uh, CN160. 
really nice light. It also comes with a diffuser, like uh, the other lights. It comes with the amber and uh, the clear one, frosted one. And I got this one for, I don't recall, I'm sorry. But I got three of them. I got three of them with tripod. So I paid not too much for three lights with three tripods and the batteries. These guys right here take these batteries that you see right here. And let me show you. Let me show you this, uh, this back part of this light switch right here. Now, you can use these uh, batteries that they are, what's the model of this ba uh, battery? And again, this is a newer battery, as you can see. Uh, this is the MPF five, uh, 550 uh, battery light. So you can use this battery, or if you don't have this battery because you're out and about, you can actually use AA batteries right here. As you see, you have uh, the connector for AA's, and it takes one, two, three, four, five, six of them. But uh, if you have these batteries that are really cheap, you simply pop the battery like this. Let you see. There you go. I think you, you don't even have to remove this, uh, this cap for this type of battery. It has um, a battery uh, a tester to see the charge of your battery. And it has a control for your light. So you can actually dim this light. So you can start really, really, really low. Let me just do it. So you can start really, really, really low or really, really high. Did you see that black effect right there? Um, that is that is the camera not liking the, the light. So very powerful. Look, so if I point at the wall, this light is very, very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. And you can, you know, you can deem it really low if you want. And again, with this light, you're gonna get hours and hours of tattooing as the fused light. So it's going to, uh, you're not gonna get that the hot spot in your tattoo that makes everything too glossy and glary. So this one is really good. I strongly recommend getting this light if you're gonna be uh, doing a lot of conventions and you struggle with light. And on top of that, you wanna capture a good video. This light right here is gonna do the job and look how small it is. And you can take a couple of batteries and forget about it. And that's it. Uh, you can probably do a whole session with one battery. So maybe that five hours of, of tattooing. Now, if this is uh, still too big for you, there are some other options. And this one was the very, very first light I bought for my live broadcast. This one is by uh, a company called Insignia. Insignia right here. This one is really good. Um, this one can take a power adapter, a uh, five volts power adapter, or you can use battery, which is what I do. And I use, I use this one a lot when I travel. Um, I actually did uh, with this lights, the interview, uh, the first interview to Ryan Ashley Malarkey while she was uh, con uh, contesting at Ink Master that happened at the Inked Magazine office. And I had two of these lights and this light deliver a lot, a lot of power in a small footprint. And again, these ones are really, really nice. And also you can, there you go. And also you can, um, you know, you can diffuse them, you know, lower or raise the intensity of the light. Really nice and really powerful. So uh, this one, there is not an excuse not to have one of these just, you know, just in case of emergencies. Um, really good for conventions. I, I, I do recommend if you get this one, you get a couple of them. So you can actually have two, um, you know, if you're working on a chest or you're working on an arm, you know, you can have two, they're, they're very, very small. And you can have one of those uh, uh, simple tripods or the brackets that I mentioned before and be done with it. Now, let me see. All right, so let me read some of the comments. Uh, there are a lot of people here uh, making comments already. Uh, people are asking what what am I using for this uh, stream? I use a, a bunch of stuff. I use uh, uh, Lumix uh, GH5. That's the camera that I'm using right now. It's a 4K camera. Then the camera, the overhead camera, is a Canon XC15, uh, and I'm using a software called Wirecast. And then uh, I'm using a two-row microphone right now. I'm trying a new one, um, and I have a lot of lights around around me right now, as well. So Robert website, do you prefer Apple or or just what works best for you? No, no, I, uh, I, I yes, I am an Apple fan, but uh, these days, you know, I design on PC. Uh, all my engineering stuff gets done uh, on PC. So 
I use, you know, I like to use what works best for me. Uh, back then, I used to be a Canon shooter, and I used to shoot a lot of my videos with Canon, and um, that's before uh, live broadcast. And now I moved to uh, Lumix, and recently, uh, a couple of months ago, I, you know, I got into the Sony world, and I really like Sony cameras. All the cameras have their drawbacks. You know, they all are good at certain things, but there's not such thing as a camera that's good at everything. So um, I like to try, um, you know, test a lot of gear, and this, uh, you know, I take it as an investment. You know, uh, I invest in good gears to deliver a good product for you guys. What else? Lighting, lighting, lighting. Yeah, that's more. Um, Joey Leah said the small light is really nice. Yeah, I mean, I really like this light. Uh, it saved my life a lot of the times. And I remember too when I was in New York City, I was doing also another interview with Joy Hamilton, and we were at the lobby of the hotel, and I didn't have a lot of light, but I had this ones, and that saved the video. Um, and again, these lights are great for tattooing and also for live broadcasting. What else? Now, this guy right here, I'm going to show it to you. Um, I don't know how this is going to uh, play a role in your live tattooing, but I just want to let you know why I like this tripod so much. The first, uh, the first reason why I like this tripod so much, and perhaps you are into, you know, showcasing part of your, uh, you know, your 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 social moment when you're about to tattoo, or you want to do a t uh, a tour of the shop, or something like that. And you want to show your people, your audience. You want to show, you know, things around there where you want to grab the phone and hold it a little further from you. So the reason why I like this tripod is because number one, the tripod comes with a bracket. I don't have it right now because I rem it's actually on my one of my cameras. Yeah, it's one it's in one of my cameras. But um, you can actually it comes with a bracket. You can actually put your phone right here, and this legs that you have right here. Let me show you from the overview a camera right here. Um, this legs right here they become a grip, or if you fold them over, they become the leg of the tripod. Then you rotate the base, and there you go. Now, the other good thing about this, guys, is that you're going to say, oh, yeah, but that's too short. Check this out. The good thing about this one is that it actually extends really, really, really good. So let me see. How many stages does it extend? Oh, there. So this one is even skinnier than this guy right here. It gives you more height. And it also serves the, uh, the purpose as a kind of like a boom pole or selfie stick for your phone. And you can show around, you know, your tattoo shop, the convention, uh, or if you want to just like kind of like pan a tattoo that you did while you're doing it live, you could do that. And you're going to get a much steadier shot than actually holding the phone with your hand. So this one right here is by a brand called Sirui, Sirui, something like that. There you go. When I list the description, the name uh, on the description below. Uh, the company that sold me this, really good customer service. I had a little problem with uh, tripod. They took care of me really, really quick. Strongly recommend this uh, this tripod right there. And there's not a lot of information about that tripod. Um, and uh, that sparked my curiosity. And actually, I love it. I use it everywhere. Um, the other good thing about this uh, tripod has that little, a little hook right there. So I put it in my my little uh, camera bag, you know, hooked in there, and I always have a tripod on the go. I can put my camera, I can put my phone, I can put whatever I want uh, in this thing. So that is that. Now, there is another device that I want to show you right here, and this is jumping back to microphone. This is one by this company called Sure. Sure makes uh, a lot of uh, microphones for, um, you know, for big deal, for big deal for for musicians, for concerts, for singing, for guitars. Guitars? No, they don't, I don't think they make for guitars. But sure, it's the brand that has been right there, um, out there for many, many years. And they have made this device right here that this one is supposed to work on the iPhone. And how this uh, little device works, you know, you simply plug it in the back of the phone and that's it. It also has an app where you can actually control uh, the polarity of the, the microphone, if you want the microphone to be wide and capture the sounds uh, from the surrounding, or if you want this microphone to be uh, more directional, or if you want it to be uh, omnidirectional. So, good microphone. The only reason why I don't use this microphone too much is because I have to remove my case, and I don't like any 
uh, adapter where I have to remove the case. So see, in order for this thing to go there, I have to remove the case. The other thing is that if you don't have enough battery, uh, you cannot charge the phone and uh, have the microphone at the same time. Um, I use it uh, in certain occasions. Uh, when I first got it, I, I enjoyed it. You just got to make sure that your phone is charged and uh, your live is going to be uh, rather brief because this is going to suck up uh, a battery from your phone as well. But good to have it if you uh, want to try it and uh, want to have a variety. Uh, what else? Well, now <clears throat> I'm going to talk about this other rig that I got not too long ago. And it actually came to me as a bundle. Uh, I bought a camera and they gave me this guy right here. And it came with uh, this bracket right here. Now, this bracket right here, I like it better than the other one. It's a little bit noisy, but um, I like it better because it allows me to extend the phone even more. Uh, even more. It has uh, a cold shoe mount right here where you can mount, let's say, the Ceremonic. Actually, it came with a Ceremonic, now that I'm remembering. Yes, that's what it did. It came with a Ceremonic. Yeah, so when I bought the Ceremonic, it came with this and... Uh, in a tripod for 150 bucks, I think, or $125. There you go. So in, in this one, I can mount, I don't know why, there you go. There you go. So you can adjust, you know, the, the, the angle of your phone. So this one, it's good because it adapts to any phone, any type of phone. So if your phone is wider or, or shorter, you can just do it like that. And then it has this wheel right here where you can actually lock the phone. And make sure that you're not locking it with your uh, pressing the volume or anything like that. So really nice, you know, to, uh, to have a, like an all-in-one uh, solution. Now imagine putting the, where's the lens? Where's the lens? I think, oh, here is the lens. So I use this a lot, uh, especially when I'm at my office or anything like that, when you guys see me working or building at the shop and you know we're doing those uh, live broadcasts on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, this is really, really good. This is, this is kind of like the setup that I use, like that. So I can have one microphone pointing at me and if you know one of the guys uh, right next to me uh, wants to see something, you know, another microphone pointing at, one of the other builders and this is basically the setup that I use every day at work. I have the same rig at work and it works really good. Uh, the problem not having something like this is that if you are, in, again, if you're in an environment with a lot of people talking like a, a busy tattoo shop and you really want to say something, it's really difficult uh, to filter all the surrounding sounds with a phone and uh, this uh, type of devices, you know, come really, really handy. Now, that doesn't, that doesn't mean that you have to use this all the time or an external microphone because a lot of the times, especially when I film here around the house or when I do the, the previews for uh, this live broadcast, I don't use an external microphone because I'm in a control environment, so there's not a lot of sound. So these microphones are going to be needed only when you're going to be in a very, very noisy place. Now, however, this to me is a must, having this wide angle lens. Let me read some of the comments. Okay, so people are asking, people are asking uh, a lot of technical questions, and today we're not going to be addressing uh, tattoo questions because today is a live broadcast about all this stuff right here. What else? Depends on the spring, okay. Blah, blah, blah. People, are, people are having a blast right there. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this solution right here. This is a ring light, and these lights are really amazing as well to, um, to tattoo and fixture your phone. I'm going to show you how this thing go, uh, works. There you go. We're going to remove the phone. This light right here, number one, is really, really powerful. I'm missing the, the bottom filter right there. But it came with a tripod. I think this light cost me $70, and this is by a brand called... Halo light, Halo ring light, yeah, just like the Halo 2. Halo light, now they make an LED version as well. This is fluorescent, but it works just as fine. I got this one a couple of years ago. And uh, this one right here in the back has one of those uh, cold shoe mounts where you can mount, let's say, where is that little thing that I had? Where is it? Here we go. So in this thing, you can have one of these 
little uh, nutty things, hot shoe mounts that I was showing you. You can put it right here. Then you put the bracket for your phone. And there you go. Now you have the phone and the light in just one device. And this light is awesome. Let me see if I can plug it in. Uh, do I have a plug somewhere in here? Where is it? That's ah, a little bit far. Anyway, but um, you get the point, right? This, um, this light is really good. It gives you a really nice light. It makes the video look very cinematic, uh, very crispy. You can also control the intensity of the light. It has a dial uh, in the back. And this may be a solution for, you know, for the shop. Of course, not for traveling because it's a little bit bulky, although some people travel with it. And it's also, you know, flexible. So you can flex it and adjust it. This one is a little bit worn off. And, you know, let's say you're tattooing someone there or there, you know, you can, this light gives you a lot, a lot of power. Let me see if I can plug it because it has a really nice light. And let me see. I don't think the cable is going to reach. Oh. The cable is not going to reach, but I, I owe you that. But you get the you get the gesture. So this light is a really good light if you are going to be working at the studio and you want to have, um, you know, kind of like an all-in-one solution. You know, the light and the phone, and really, really good. Also, this type of light it kills a lot of the shadows that you know sometimes uh, your body, your arm, or you know the things around you cast shadows over the tattoo. This one kills a lot of that uh, a lot of that that problem. That's why I like it. So I recommend this one. Uh, for anyone that is looking for a really clean light or that one right there but this one it's good because it has the little mounty for the phone now they make a smaller version not this company and I have that one actually at the shop at FK iron it's kind of like this and uh, but you cannot fit the phone but if you're gonna be you know taking pictures of your tattoos it's also good these lights are amazing for taking pictures at tattoos forgot to mention that uh, because you put the subject in front of the ring and then you take the picture from the center and you get amazing, amazing, amazing uh, uh, photos. You always have to make sure when you do that that your tattoo is dry and stuff like that to avoid uh, some of that glare. But um, I guess we talked about, you know, some of the things that I use in here. You know, we have some of some of these little uh, tripods that are very compact. This one also pivots. It becomes really small. It can become uh, a selfie type of stick it also uh, becomes a little tripod if you open the legs it would allow you to put the phone on a table with the mounting bracket right there uh, and then you know I have this one right here where I mounted a bracket that I bought myself uh, to actually mount the camera or anything I want this one is really handy if you wanna you know again hold, uh, hold the phone or something like that and before I finish I wanna show you um, a very portable tripod if you wanna uh, travel with a tripod and have you know your phone or a camera filming a tattoo session is this guy right here let me show you from the overhead camera let me remove some of this crap so we're gonna switch to the overhead camera and this is the tripod it is called uh, me photo uh, tripod this one right here is that particular model it is a model a0350 or maybe that's the serial number I don't know um, oh, okay. It's the back uh, backpacker, Me Photo backpacker, and you can see that right here. Let me see. Oh, oh, oh. there you go. Me Photo, and the label says right there, backpacker. The Me Photo backpacker. The reason why I like this tripod is because it's very, very small. Um, you can put it in a backpack. Uh, number two, it becomes really long. I'm gonna extend it right now. And it's very easy to extend. Some of those uh, portable uh, tripods, uh, sometimes they are a hustle to deal with. And um, it takes a lot of time to get them set up right. Especially when you're traveling and you're on the go and you want things really fast. So it has this little <clears throat> this, this little system, kind of like an Ajax uh, vice system. And every, uh, and every, single, uh, every single leg actually extend really, really high. So like so, like so, Let's see, and do them really quick all at once, like that. And now you have a tripod, and if you are, um, you know, if you're wanting to film your 
your session, you can use this guy right here. This guy right here also extends. So, you know, you, we have something that's about probably what? <coughs> Five feet, something like that. And then in here you can mount, again, you can mount the bracket and the phone and uh, or your GoPro, whatever you, you wanna have in there. And you are filming right now unattended. I always travel with this one right here, and this is one of the reason one of the reason why I wanted to show you guys because I take it to every single convention. Um, you know, if I'm gonna be doing a little interview with an artist, or if I want to have a camera capturing a moment while I'm walking around, I'll bring one of these. You know, I pop it right there, and uh, and that's it. Now, let me talk a little bit about the the GoPro uh, GoPro cameras. If you guys want to capture a video and you don't want to deal with the hustle of you know the lens and all this stuff get a gopro camera the gopro camera has different modes uh to control the lens you know you have wide angle you have normal uh lens uh, uh fish eye so you have different effects you can set it up it films 4k the audio is really crappy but if you're going to be editing the video and you don't care about the audio then uh you can actually just go with this for all those you know external videos that you're going to be doing something with it later on not live so I definitely recommend the GoPro or the Session, which is this one right here, the little one. And again, I am blessed to have this equipment because, you know, I use this for work, you know. Um, this, is, uh, this is not something that I would get into if I really didn't have a, a purpose for this. So I travel with this all the time. So a lot of options, you know, out there every day, there's something new coming out. You don't have to have the latest and coolest, you know, gadget out there to, uh, uh, to do a very, very clean video. But if you want to step it up, if you are, uh, if you've been having problems with audio, if you've been having problem with fixing your phone or the quality of your image, uh, give them a, uh, give them a, give them a try, you know, and I'm going to post the links. So now before I finish this live, I'm going to answer some of the questions uh, from you guys. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Let's see right here. The pen on the spring. People are asking a lot of machine questions. Cool. Uh, Raw Plant is asking, what is the light called? Uh, this one right here is called the Halo Ring Light. Halo Ring Light. And again, guys, all the products that I've been uh, showing today, I'm going to compile uh, links for all of them so you guys can go and check them out on Amazon or, uh, or, or eBay. What else? Uh, the Wirecast uh, Dirt Wild say, what is the cost of Wirecast? The Wirecast software that I use, I don't have the super duper version. The one that I have is $450. Uh, I think I paid, uh, which is fine for this. It allows me to do the multi-camera uh, type of live. And uh, <laughs> Gaston, we really miss your shirt and cap here. <laughs> okay, man. Maybe you can win one. Um, Rob Plant, I tattoo him. He's a cool guy and he's been watching every single uh, live broadcast. Now, um, let's see. Let's see. Well, there are a lot of questions. I, it's, it's really hard. Uh, excellent topic. Thank you for sharing your knowledge. Jeff Gary is the best, man. You're all over it. Yeah, I try. So um, I think, guys, this is a wrap for the day. You know, a lot of information to digest. And uh, thank you for watching. Happy Memorial Day tomorrow. And I want to dedicate this video to my dad. Uh, he suffered a stroke yesterday, but he's recovering uh, really well. And this video is dedicated to my dad. So, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys again next week with another topic here at FK Irons Live in YouTube. Take care.